After arriving at the Federal Chancellery by helicopter, Federal Chancellor Olaf Scholz received the President of Finland, Alexander Stubb, at the Federal Chancellery today. President, dear Alex, it's good to be able to welcome you back to Berlin today. In difficult times like the ones the world is experiencing right now, it is important to have close and reliable partners, and that is exactly what Finland and Germany are, close and reliable partners bilaterally in the European Union and recently also within NATO. Uh, together, we are defending the security of Europe and consistently strengthen the European pillar of NATO. Together with our partners, we continue to stand closely at the side of Ukraine. Finland and Germany number amongst the strongest supporters of Ukraine, and it is clear for both of us that we're not going to let up in our support. What is at stake is the sovereignty and the integrity of Ukraine, which needs to be defended. Putin should not cherish any hope for us to um, abandon Ukraine. The G7's $50 billion loan to Ukraine is for Ukraine is a clear signal that our support to Ukraine is long term. We, the European Union, provide a major share of this loan package and the preparatory work is underway and about to be concluded. We will also discuss the situation in the Middle East. In the wake of the death of Hamas leader Yahya Sinwa, there is hope that a ceasefire might have become more likely now in Gaza, which has to go hand in hand, of course, with the release of the remaining Israeli hostages held by Hamas. With regard to the situation in Lebanon, it is true to say that Hezbollah has to abide by a UN Resolution 1701 and to withdraw completely from areas along the border with Israel. Genuine peace in the region is only thinkable and conceivable if there is a credible process in the direction of a two-state solution. However difficult it might be to imagine this right now, what we need to have is that hope and the prospect of such a process, because the Palestinians themselves have become in turn victims of Hamas. Dear Alex, we are of course also going to talk about, uh, on our bilateral relationships about how we aim to further deepen our economic cooperation. I see a special potential with regard to critical raw materials and the setup of hydrogen corridors in the Baltic Sea. And for last but not least, we um, see uh, we have very similar conceptions of the further development of the European Union. Germany and Finland strongly support making Europe fit for an enlarged and at the same time effective union by carrying out reforms. So we do have a long list of topics, as you can see, and there are many intersecting interests and much we have in common. Once again, a very warm welcome to Berlin. Warm welcome to Berlin. I look forward to our exchange. Chancellor, dear Olaf, thank you very much for the opportunity to see you today. For us, Germany is a very important friend in the European Union, a NATO ally and an important trading partner. Today we're here to speak about Ukraine, about Russia, about the Quad meeting, about the Middle East and China. I will visit China next week on a state visit. So we also have to, to um, some extent coordinate uh, in the run-up to that. The upcoming two months after the U.S. elections are going to be crucial for the two main waging wars that we're seeing uh, in the world right now. One, the war aggression uh, in Ukraine. Uh, we've had a good chance to discuss on Friday with the Prime Minister of Ukraine about Ukraine's peace plan and victory plan, and I'll be really interested to hear the view of the Chancellor and the messages that we got from the Quad. Uh, and of course, the other raging conflict is that of a war between Israel and Palestine uh, and uh, Israel and Lebanon. Uh, I'm at two minds whether to bring these two conflicts together, uh, but the only thing that is sure is that we have to solve them one way uh, or another. And I think the window of opportunity will start uh, opening up after the U.S. elections going towards the inauguration of the next president of the United States. And of course, Germany's role uh, in all of this uh, as a leader in Europe uh, is instrumental. Vielen Dank. Schönen Dank.